Now, here's a very interesting physics conundrum for you. Imagine you are in this rocket ship and you're flying through space at a constant speed of 100,000 miles per hour with your engines off. So you're just cruising really, really fast through space. And all of a sudden, you fire up thrusters in both directions. So assume this ship has thrusters that can push this way and that way. And so the thrusters you fire over here are pushing you forward with a force of 10,000 pounds. And these reverse thrusters are pushing you backward with also a force of 10,000 pounds. So you're traveling at 100,000 miles per hour and all of a sudden you activate two thrusters in opposite directions. What is your rocket ship going to do? So here's your options. Either A, you're going to start speeding up, getting even faster in this direction. B, you're going to start slowing down. C, you're going to come to a complete stop instantly. Or D, you're just going to continue moving forward at 100,000 miles per hour, neither speeding up nor slowing down. So what's the answer? What do you think? And guess what? The answer is actually D of my options. That was the one where it said it will continue moving forward at a constant speed. So it will not speed up. It will not slow down. It will maintain its original speed as if nothing happened. So how is that possible? Well, think of it this way. Newton's first law of motion tells us that an object in motion like this rocket will stay in motion at a constant velocity forever unless an external or outside net force acts on it. So net force means total force. And that means the total force on this rocket has to be greater than zero in order for it to speed up or slow down. And if that total force is zero, then it would just continue doing what it was already doing. Well, how could this add up to zero? We have two forces and they're both 10,000 pounds. Well, think about it. If I were to calculate the net force, we have 10,000 pounds in the forward direction, which is positive, so that's 10,000. But then we have another force in the backward direction, which is minus, because it's in the negative direction. So minus 10,000 pounds. And what's 10,000 minus 10,000? Well, I'm no mathematician, but that, I think that's zero. And so that means there's a total force of zero pounds acting on this rocket. So firing two thrusters in different directions is no different than doing nothing at all. Either way, your net force is zero. And either way, that means you, the object in motion, will stay in motion at the same speed.